close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to keep the mind with the body all the way in, all the way out. Where do you feel the breathing right now? Keep your attention right there. You're trying to bring the mind and the body into alignment, bring them into harmony. When they're in harmony, they can strengthen each other. When they're not in harmony, the mind goes one direction, the body goes someplace else. The body doesn't have anybody to look after it, and the mind doesn't have a good place to stay. So it wanders around, eating out of garbage bins, sleeping under tarps. Who knows where it's going to end up? It doesn't have a home to stay in. When you have a home to stay in, then the, the mind can be at its ease. And then it can look after this house. Otherwise the body is like a house without an owner. Things move in. Animals move in. Pipes break. Mold develops. And when the owner occasionally does come back to the house, it's not a comfortable place to stay, so the owner goes out again. But if you stay there and fix it up, you can make a really nice place to stay, even out of this body. So take good care of it by staying with it. Keep things in harmony. This principle of harmony is something that starts within and then it spreads out. When you're in harmony with yourself, it's a lot easier to be in harmony with what's good and what's right outside. And when people together get together to be harmonious about what's good and right, that's the, those are the times when human society is a good place to be. All too often we're either we're in conflict or we're in harmony about things that are not especially for the good of the whole. But like an event like today, ordination, this is good for everybody. It's good for the person being ordained, it's good for the community supporting, good for the family, good for everybody to have another monk in the world, a monk that's decided to train. He depends on the community, that the community will depend on him. And when they're in harmony in doing something that's really good, then the world becomes a much better place to be in. So start with the harmony insight or doing something good, looking after the mind by focusing on the breath, making the breath comfortable. It's going to be good both for body and for the mind. And then this principle of harmony that can spread out in all directions. When you're harmonious inside, you see something good outside, you can be in harmony with that. That helps to strengthen the goodness in the world. That word goodness is something we don't hear too much of, aside from cookies and cakes and pies. But the goodness of the heart, the goodness of someone who wants to do well, wants to do good in the world, wants to do good in their own minds. That's something that should be encouraged. And as we encourage it in others, we also encourage it in ourselves. In this way we all grow together. <laughs>